Hi there, my name is Matthijs Klaasner and I'm using Adobe Character Animator in Microsoft Teams and I'd like to show you my workflow. First of all, let's take a look at Adobe Character Animator. This is a fantastic tool which uses a character made in Photoshop or Illustrator. The important thing is to use a correct layer structure in either of these tools and the puppet will follow your lead in front of the webcam. Adobe Character Animator comes with quite a few default characters. Chloe is one of those characters which you can open from the home screen. With a right click on the character we can open the original. In this case Adobe Illustrator will open the character. You can alter the character easily and it will update automatically once you've saved your file in Adobe Illustrator. And all of these steps can be done easily in Photoshop as well. It's great to create your very own character, but there are lots of great free characters available on sites like headsofcurriculum.com which you can use in your online classes. Let's select Albert Einstein. The site will ask you to create a free account on headsofcurriculum.com. Click on it to download your character and open your character with a double click to see your character in Character Animator. During the Corona crisis I need to teach a lot through Microsoft Teams. Wouldn't it be fun to appear in your math class as Albert Einstein? I'll show you how to create a virtual webcam which you can use in your online meetings. In this case I'm using my MacBook Pro. In order to create a virtual camera you will need to use an extra tool. On my Mac I like to use CamTwist but I'm sure there are alternative options for Windows as well. Make sure that you are in the record or stream workspace. Select the live stream button in the right bottom corner and enable Mercury Transmit and Siphon and hit OK. Now open CamTwist and search for Siphon and select it with a double click and then select Adobe Character Animator from the drop down menu on the right hand side. And now let's go back to our virtual classroom, in this case Microsoft Teams. Select the custom setup to change the camera to Cam Twist. And there you go, that's Albert Einstein in your live stream. Uh, but my head moves in the wrong direction, in the opposite direction. So I need to alter my character, I need to flip my character. And let's do that from the timeline, select our character and search for the skill along the X axis and scale with a minus 100%, there we go. Now it moves in the opposite direction in Character Animator, but when I go back to Microsoft Teams, it will follow my lead perfectly and I'm ready to join my meeting. Hello, my name is Albert Einstein. There we go. So this is how you use Adobe Character Animator in combination with your virtual classroom. And this also works in Connect, Zoom, Jitsi, Hangout.